the two boys. The boys I told you about. Here they are, wonderful boys. Wonderful, learned boys, Golda, from good families. Each of them a prize. A jewel. You going to do better for your girls. Just right. From the top of the tree. Oh, I don't know yet. So my girls are both still so young. Oh, so what do they look like? Grandfathers? <laughs> Meanwhile, they'll be engaged. Nothing to worry about. No looking around later. Your future all signed and sealed. Uh, which one for which one? <laughs> nah, what's the difference? Take your pick. Walter, does Rep take you home? Uh, yes, but he's in the house. Why? Is there some trouble? Call your father. Uh, go home. Tell your parents, I'll talk to them. What is it? Why are you all gathered around like a herd of goats? <laughs> What's... Rep Tevia, have you seen the constable today? No, why? There are some rumors in town. We thought that since you knew him so well, perhaps he told you what is true and what is not. What rumors? Someone from Zalodin told me that there was an edict issued in Petrograd that all that shh. Welcome, Your Honor. What's the good news in the world? <laughs> I see you have company. They are my friends. It's just as well. What I have to tell you is for their years also. Tevya, how much time do you need to sell your home with all your household goods? What? Why should I sell my home? Is it in anyone's way? I'm here to tell you that you are going to have to leave Anatevka. What? And how did I come to deserve such an honor? <laughs> Not just you, of course, but all of you. All of you? At first, Tevya, I thought I might be spared because your daughter Hava. My daughter is dead! I see. At any rate, it affects all of you. You have to leave. But this corner of the world has always been our home. Why should we leave? I, I, I don't know why. There's trouble in the world. Troublemakers. Uh, like us. You aren't the only ones. Your people must leave all the villages. Zolodin, Rabelevka, the entire district must be empty. The entire district? I have an edict here. It says you must sell your homes and be out of here in three days. Three days? What? I think that's possible. And you, who have known this all your life, you would carry out this order? I, I have nothing to do with this. Don't you understand? Oh, I understand. It's what if we refuse to go? You will be forced out. We will defend ourselves. Against our army, I want to advise it. I have some advice for you. Get off my land. This is still my home, my land. Get off my land. You have three days. After a lifetime, a piece of paper and get thee out. We should get together. The people are loaded. Maybe they have a plan. We should defend ourselves. And not for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Oh, very good. And then the whole world will be blind and toothless. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbi, we've been waiting for the Messiah all our lives. Wouldn't this be a good time for him to come? It seems we'll just have to wait for him someplace else. <sighs> Meanwhile, let's get back. The rabbi's right. I'll see you all before we leave. Three days. I have more than a hundred bottles of vodka. What do I do with them? A wife and four children? Her parents? Where will we go? Well, on a death hasn't exactly been part of the 
Navid. That's true. After all, what have we got here? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A hat. A pack. A broom. A hat. Someone should have set a match to this place years ago. A bench. A tree. So what's a stove? Or a house. The people who pass through on a tepka don't even realize they've been here. A stick.